So the next thing we're going to look at is setting up custom collision in UDK. So we're going to do that on this table model here. So it's very simple basically. All you do is make an, another version of your model, make sure the pivot's in exactly the same place, and just put UCX underscore in front of the name. You then select them both and export. So let's do that now. So we'll clone this model, copy, I'm going to add an edit poly on top, I might as well go to vertex mode, I'm going to pull those vertices down and just delete the legs out there. I'm then going to swiftly there, there, oops, there, and there. And we'll just extrude that out. Use old text, and there we go, there's our basic collision model. So, again, just ucx underscore. Make sure the pivot's in the same place. Remember, if you want to change your pivot, it's just hierarchy tab, effect pivot only, and then move it into place. You can select both models and type in the exact location there. We know it's 000. zero, zero. So you can actually just put in zero, zero, zero. Now, with both models selected, export selected, and just save it over TA table. So we'll come back into UDK, load up our content browser, and we'll select the table here and double click. We'll just do view collision, and that's our old collision model. So let's just right click, re import static mesh. Over, you see it says overwrite existing collision data because it's recognised we're exporting from Max and it wants to know if we want to go over it. So if we double click and then go view collision, there we go, there's our new collision model. So dead easy to export collision from 3ds Max. Now other little things, one little other thing I want to show you is if you sit, select here, can become dynamic. Now if, with any luck we just build our model here. You'll see we can actually make the table dynamic. So we can actually move it around. But obviously because we've baked in our lighting, it's not really going to work. So let's turn that off again. Because really, I want you to see the actual collision rather than physics. There we go, I can jump on top of my model, come down here, and yeah, everything works great. So, dead easy to set up collision then. You've either got collision here for, Ver for uh, UDK's auto generator, but as with light maps, it's better to do it yourself in Max. So, just select your model, make a clone of it, 
make as low detail as you possibly can and call it UCX at the front of the name and then when you export just select both and UDK will recognise that you're exporting custom version